Hello lovelies! So, I'm back with another video. Again, a surprise. I'm still super sunburnt from yesterday's video. That's okay. I am here. I have had these two boxes of goodies and snacks and things for months now. And I have been wanting to open them with other people, but that kept falling through. So I was like, I'll just open them by myself. Why not? <laughs> so I am going to open them today because I'm really curious to see what's inside them. I guess we'll start with a big one because I want to save this one. This one's the Doki Doki box, which means it's going to be full of cute things and I want to save that one for last. Wait, should I open it toward you guys? Yeah. I'll see if I can just cheat with the viewfinder. Eh? Yay! I can't... Oh, cool! Wow. There's so much stuff in here. Okay, this is gonna be helpful. This is telling me what everything is. Alright. This gummy ring looks like a donut and comes in a variety of fruity flavors. Oh, open. Ow, oh, my arm. I got a loose hair, and it's tickling sunburn. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, it's hard. It's gummy, but it's a hard kind of gummy. So it's hard to chew. It tastes good, at least. This is so hard to eat. You wanna come up here? You come up here? Come on. There you go. The little baby wanted to come up and say hi, so. <clears throat> Almost there. Uh, don't lick me, please. That hurts. I love you, but don't lick me. Okay. Finally. Okay. <laughs> I did it. I love you too, but no U.S. state. Can you maybe right there? Is that okay? This one caught my eye. A Pandoro cookie? This adorable panda-shaped cookie is rich with delicious, delicious butter taste. A nice snack to complement an afternoon tea. I love Japan. I don't know if I said that in the beginning or not. One day. One day I'll make it to Japan. It's good. Oh, I just spit crumbs everywhere. Whoops. What are these? Oh no, okay. This is something I'm gonna have to do later. This is ice cream, apparently. And it's a DIY kit, so you can make soft serve ice cream in a unique foam candy form. Uh, it even comes with wa water cones to serve your handmade ice cream. Wafer, I can't read, wafer cones. Okay, I will try to do this tomorrow, maybe, before I upload the video. So it is the next day. Um, I went ahead and ooh, opened the ice cream thing so that I could see what all came with it and it comes with this pack I'm assuming it's powder. I haven't opened that yet um, But it just comes with the wafer cones and it comes with a spoon and this little tray that you can mix everything into um, It doesn't have English instructions The only instructions are these on the back which are all in Japanese um, so I'm not gonna be able to mix it based off of that. I'm probably just gonna have to guesstimate on all of the measurements of everything. Oh my god, it looks like Dippin' Dots. It kind of looks like Dippin' Dots. Focus. Whoops. Uh -huh. So I am... Um, there's a hole in my thing! I'm gonna have to get another bowl. Alright, I'm gonna go get another bowl. I'm gonna put some water in this and then we'll be back. Okay. Mm, Alright, so I got another bowl. And I already, I already kind of cheated. Um, I may have put too much water in it, but it seems like it's okay. Because it's just fluffy, frothy-ness. I did smell it. 
It smells like cotton candy. So I guess now we try it? Okay, well, none of it went in, it all went on top. <laughs> so there's the ice cream cone. That's what it looks like when it's all in there. It looks like an ice cream cone. Like it looks like an actual ice cream cone. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it's sour. It tastes sour. I don't like that at all. Oh, oh god. That's gross. That's gross. Oh. I thought it was, mmm. Oh. The cone was stale. It was hard to eat. The ice cream is sour. Mmm, I wonder if it's because it took me months to open this. No, it probably would have been sour anyway. Not at all what I expected it to be. Um, let's try this next. It's a classic Japanese soft drink. Each bottle is sealed with a marble that is pressed down, that when pressed down releases and opens the drink. Ah, and all of the directions at the very top of it are in Japanese and I cannot read it. <laughs> I think I just watched somebody open one of these the other day. Okay, wait, so that, I think, that goes over there. And then, oh, oh, that kind of scared me. <laughs> taste weird. Kind of like medicine and Kool-Aid at the same time. I don't know, it's not horrible, so I keep wanting to drink more of it. A diamond ring candy. Bring back the 90s with a Japanese version of the ring pop. This retro fun design is perfect for get-togethers with friends. Okay. I kind of don't want to open this because since I know what it is, because I'm not going to be able to eat the whole thing. <laughs> I'll set this one aside, but I don't want to open it right now because I have a lot of other snacks to try and this is a lollipop and it's going to take forever to eat. So I'm just going to sit over there. And it would be weird to eat it between candy, if that makes sense. All right, so it is currently the next day. Um, I didn't get to try this last night, but I'm going to try it now so that you guys can at least get a an idea of what it tastes like. Is this how ring pops come normally? I thought they came in a different packaging other than the little metal sleeve, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, let's see. Ew. It's cola flavored. Yeah, it's flavored like soda. I don't know what soda. I don't know. It doesn't taste like a soda that we have here in, in the United States. Because it tastes kind of like root beer, it also kind of tastes like ginger, it also kind of tastes like coke, but, I don't know, it tastes like, I don't know. It's not bad. I'm probably not going to be eating this whole thing, but it's good, it's a ring pop. I mean, it's not fruit flavored, which is typical of ours, but, whatever. So we'll go with these instead. Cheezak. This tasty biscuit has a crispy and flaky consistency with a sweet cream, creamy cheese taste for a unique cheese snack taste. That didn't make sense to me as I was reading it, but maybe it made more sense to you all listening to it. It looks like a giant cheese puff. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh. Oh, I don't know about that one. Yep, sweet, creamy cheese. This is a definitely unique snack taste. Yep, nope, don't like that one. So it's like, it's like a cheese puff, but it also kind of tastes like one of those peanut butter, the orange like peanut butter crackers, but it also tastes like uh, um, caramel popcorn because it's like salty and sweet. Yeah. That's about the best way to do it. I think, I think I can describe it. This actually tastes really good. 
These caught my attention. They're called chill beans. These edamame chips make for the perfect snack without feeling, making you feel guilty. Munch on one of these for a healthier and delicious alternative to chips. Are these peas or lima beans? What is this? I don't know what that looks like. I'm trying not to be really loud because my housemates are asleep. I don't know why I'm trying to sniff it. My, I have allergies stuff going on right now, so I really can't smell anything. I don't know what that is. It's like those vegetable straws. So it's kind of chip-like, but at the same time it tastes like a vegetable. So it's weird. And that little bit there at the top is what was causing all of those issues when I was trying to bite into it. I don't know why. It's hard though. Much hard to break that. I'm not gonna finish these. I don't like peas. Or a lot of beans. I'm gonna finish this one because I don't want to put it back in the bag but I want to see if my housemates want these later. Senkaku crackers? If I'm saying it correctly. Senkaku means triangle which explains why these crackers come in cute triangle shapes. While they're great by themselves, the vegetable flavor also pairs well with toppings like cheese or ham. Oh my god. Look at how tiny these are. It's so small. <laughs> oh, I love them. <laughs> yeah, they're not bad. They taste like, um, typical, like, thin wheats or whatever. So, they're good. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. What is this now? Cheese umaibo? Um, um, umaibo is one of Japan's favorite dagashi. This variation is designed to taste like cheese, a staple flavor when it comes to chips and puffs. So it's another cheese puff. I like cheese puffs though. It's kind of like a straw, like a cheese straw, I guess. That was weird because it tasted it tasted like a lot of different things it tastes like barbecue and cheese puffs that most of the flavor has been licked off already a little bit of like a fishy taste it's good like initially i didn't like it and then it settled a little bit more and i think i like it so i just realized i've probably been doing this unboxing thing wrong like i should have been showing it to you guys and then talking about it and then eating it. I'll try to do it better because I got the rest of this box and then that whole other box too. Okay, so this one is the seven stick milk cream. It's got a cute little packaging on it. Um, crisp wafer cookies filled with cream are an all around crowd pleaser, especially in its milk flavored edition. Ah, uh, mm, I thought it was like First looking at it, I thought it was um, one of those like, I don't know, it was like, it was like a sour gummy candy straw thing. Um, that's what I thought these were at first. And then with all the colors and stuff. But no, they're cookies. Crisp wafer cookies. But I'm glad I, I read these things before I go into it. Oh yeah, I definitely would have been able to figure that out, but that's not what this was at first. Ooh, this is really good. This one makes me really happy. I wish there was a Japanese or I guess Asian market close to me that I could get stuff like this at. The closest thing I've got is like the oriental section of Kroger. I like these. I'm probably gonna finish all of these off. But I'll do it later. Uh, what is this? Yeah, it just looks like, um. A little ice cream with a bunch of writing, but I can't see what any of the writing is, so... Duh, I can't tell what any of the writing is, it's friggin' Japanese! 
So this is called Little Gang Candy. If you like the fizzing sensation of Pop Rocks, you'll love these. They say they're especially good if you try them on top of ice cream. So I actually don't like Pop Rocks all that much. So I'm probably not gonna like these. But I'm gonna try them anyway. They look like Pop Rocks. So this is not, so this one's not like one color. They're all like different colors. Ooh, they're already popping in my hand. Okay. a sip of the drink and just swallow them but at the same time I don't want to feel them popping all the way through my system they got stuck to my hand next we got these oh my sugar rusk twice baked baguettes coated in sugar and butter became a country tea time snack called rusk that over time became popularized into a staple sweet. The company behind Umaibo created their own version using corn puffs for a perfect afternoon snack. So it's bread or are these the corn puff ones? I don't know. I didn't expect to taste, but it's not bad but I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I guess the best example would be like the uh, caramel popcorn. I don't know why that's such a good flavor. It's like sweet and salty at the same time. But it's really good. It's really good. I'm gonna finish these in a little bit too. Okay. We've got two things left. Oh. Hang on, is that a pepper? Like as in a hot pepper on the front of it? Hang on, let me find this. Mintaiko Umayo rings. Umayo rings are perfect for fans of cheese puffs, but who also like snacks with umami taste. Mintaiko is, is spicy cod rope that provides a savory, light, salty flavor that's uniquely delicious. Okay. I don't do spicy very well. Ooh. Ooh. That does not smell good. A spicy cod rope. Does that mean it's made with fish too? Oh, I'm not gonna like this snack at all. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. Oh. Ooh. That smells strong. Oh, I should have ready my drink. Okay. So it's not like really spicy. And it doesn't taste a whole lot like seafood either. No, it tastes like seafood. Yeah, just a little delayed. Uh, ugh. That's going in the pile of snacks that are going to be given away to other people or thrown in the car. So last but not least, we have lifeguard gum. There you go. Yay. I wanted to save this one for last because it's gum, so I don't want to be chewing on gum while I'm eating other things. <laughs> okay. uh, oh, I was supposed to read this. Whoops. This gum is infused with lifeguard, a popular energy drink in Japan. Oh my god. We gotta start that over again. So lifeguard gum. This gum is infused with Lifeguard, a popular energy drink in Japan. Uh, try one when you need a little pick-me-up. Oh, Is this an energy drink in a piece of gum? Oh, it just tastes like your basic energy drink. That's basically it. Oh, I guess I could turn the camera off while I'm doing this. Now, we're gonna get to the box that I really wanted to open, which is the Doki Doki box. Okay. Oh, I already love 
love it. I already love it so much. Oh, I didn't even see everything. Oh my god, look at all of this stuff. Look at all this just random cute stuff. This makes me so happy. Okay, so we get socks. These are all the Tsum Tsum. There you go. Look at how cute. Oh, I need more socks. This is perfect. Okay, I love these. What are you? Oh. What is this? Wait a second. I got a freebie. <laughs> These aren't on the thing. These aren't listed on, on the booklet. So I got them for free. Okay, this, I think I'm saying this probably wrong, but this is an Otodama animal plush. Focus, thank you. Oh, look at it. I love it. Otodama is a traditional kids game similar to Jack's, but with bean bags. These plushes may be too cute to juggle, but their shape is round, like the bags you might see kids play with. It's just a little hacky sack. It's just looking at this little hacky sack. This actually would be a really great stress ball, I think. This. Yeah. I like this. Oh, I love this little guy. I wish you could just scorch over to my face, but it's too burnt for that. <laughs> so this. Here we go. That's what's next. Oh. Hello. You cannot- No ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. She picks the small fluffies for her. So this is a Kumemen container. Kumemen is the official mascot of the Kumamoto Prefecture. Japan has many adorable and fun mascots for prefectures, towns, stores, and much more. Kumemen is one of the most famous mascots, iconic for his peculiar expression and lovable nature. He'll keep your lunch or snack safe with this cute container. That's so cool! I love this! Is that gonna peel off? It's probably gonna peel off at some point, so I might not wanna put this in the dishwasher too many times. I could keep my new snacks in it. And this... This makes me miss ice a lot. Dog face pouch. Uh, in Japan, coins are common currency for any value under $10. Pouches and coin purses are regularly used to hold spare change. These pouches feature funny dogs and are perfect for change, cosmetics, or any trinkets you may need to carry with you. I might need to make this my change purse. Because I have, like, a change purse in my wallet, but the problem is my wallet's really cheaply made, and so I can't zip it up with everything in it anymore. This is so cute. I love how fluffy it is, too. Like, I wish you could just make it fit it. This cute little thing. There you go. It's a bottle cover. A pet bottle cover. In Japan, it's not uncommon to see bottle covers for plastic bottles, also known as pet bottles in Japan. They can make bottles... Oh, they... Oh. They make cold bottles easy to hold without your hand slipping or getting wet from condensation. These particular covers are decorated with kawaii animal friends. So this one's got a little piggy on it. What? Hi. What? It says stuff on the back. Hang on. No. There we go. Alright, so it says hi, and then it says, what is this animal? I think? It's a bottle. Cover. Um. Look at that! Look how cute. I love this! Oh, I'm gonna put all my bottles in this now. I'm saying it like it's a gift for me. It's not a gift for me. I bought it. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing in the box is these cute sponges. Look at those cute sponges! Sumiko Grushy Sponge Set. I'm not gonna be able to say that any faster. Washing dishes has never been so fun. Receiving a set of four sponges with cute designs of Sumiko Grashi. If you're unfamiliar with these, send ex friends. Sumiko Grashi is a collection of critters who like to hide in the corner. They are sure to make your daily chores a bit more exciting. I've seen so many things with that little bear, but I didn't know what it was. I didn't know he was another one of these little, like, um, 
Hello Kitty or uh, Ogretzko characters. But that's all the goodies that I have for right now. So um, if you guys have any ideas for anything that you'd like to see in a video from me, then go ahead and leave that in the comments. But if you liked it, give it a like. But until next time, stay magical, my friends.